I'm David Story, and this is your Look News 411. A Fort Edward man has been arrested in connection with the use of a bad check to buy a vehicle worth nearly $5,500. Whitehall police have charged 38-year-old Spencer Durham with felony grand larceny. Police say he allegedly wrote a check to a Whitehall car dealership when he knew there were not sufficient funds in the bank account to cover the check. The theft happened in 2012, but Durham had fled to Vermont. He is being held at the Washington County Jail. An East Greenbush man has been arrested in Clifton Park for allegedly using a stolen credit card. 23-year-old Tyler Trembley has been charged with felony forgery and criminal possession of stolen property. Police say he used the card without the owner's permission or knowledge. Trembley is locked up at the Saratoga County Jail after failing to post $20,000 bail. Well, we now know more about Thursday's high-speed chase in the town of Moreau. Police arrested 32-year-old Richard Collier after he led them on a high-speed chase north on Route 9. The chase began after Collier had been pulled over for a traffic violation. He then sped off and police believed he may have thrown drugs from the vehicle. After being stopped near Ron and Kathy's restaurant, Collier fought with police. Now, no drugs were found. He's been charged with felony assault and reckless endangerment, as well as misdemeanor counts of resisting arrest and lawfully fleeing from a police officer. Super Bowl weekend is here and state police say drivers will see checkpoints and other measures throughout the weekend as they step up drunk and distracted driving enforcement efforts. State police say the crackdown will include local and county law enforcement. Winterfest continues this weekend in Saratoga Springs with the annual Chowder Fest competition. Restaurants citywide will serve up their best chowder all in an effort to win bragging rights for the year to come. Chowder Fest is Saturday from 11 a.m. until 4 p.m. And that's the latest headlines from the Look Newsroom. Thanks for watching.